customer service calls are gold mines of business intelligence data. Unfortunately, a lot of it never makes it into your CRM. Promised callbacks, escalation signals, sentiment, it's all buried in the transcript files, but nobody has time to read through them. Today, I'm gonna to show you a demo that we built that transforms those conversations into structured business data using Azure OpenAI. Let's jump right into it. So this is the basic app we built with Node.js just to get it up and running. In real implementation, a lot of what you'll see here would be happening programmatically through APIs, but we wanted something visual so you can follow each step of the process. So let's just start by picking one of the four realistic customer scenarios across different industries. We'll go with frustrated airline customer. Now this represents a billing dispute that's escalated. So clicking billing dispute, here's the full conversation transcript. You can see this is similar to a real customer service interaction. We have a frustrated customer, third time calling, billing issue with a premium seat charge. When I click analyze with AI, it's going to use Azure OpenAI to extract structured information from this conversation. The AI is processing the entire conversation to identify sentiment, uh, escalation risk, key information, specific commitments made during the call. Let's look at what it extracted. Frustrated customer sentiment with high escalation risk, that's accurate. It pulled out the order number, the customer email, specific commitments made by the agent. Notice how everything is categorized and structured. It's not just one long summary paragraph. It actually identified the specific commitments. So the temporary credit applied, uh, a billing specialist callback promised, email confirmation. Now these aren't generic suggestions. These are based on what actually happened in that conversation. But here's the key part, the human oversight. I can edit this analysis before it goes anywhere. Maybe I disagree with the sentiment classification or want to just adjust the suggested actions. Maybe the sentiment wasn't frustrated. Maybe neutral is more accurate. I can change the escalation risk. This is real business judgment, not just fixing typos. And let's see, maybe I wanted to add a suggested action to ping the billing specialist. I'm going to add a note to call James, say he's the specialist who needs to handle the case. The human reviewer can add this context um, that, the, that the AI wouldn't know about. So when I click save, save these changes, the changes update immediately. And notice down here, we have structured data for the CRM integration. This is the key breakthrough. So instead of getting back long paragraphs of text that someone has to read through, we get JSON that maps directly to database fields. So it's the same format every time. And this is what's gonna make the CRM integration seamless. Sentiment, frustrated. Escalation risk, high. All the information is extracted and formatted consistently. You can pick the field and set the field. So your CRM can consume this directly via API, including the human added notes. So when I do approve this for the CRM integration, it creates a complete case record in Dynamics 365. Now this is obviously simulated for this demo. So in a production environment, you'd connect directly to you know, your 360, Dynamics 365 API or whatever CRM you're using to you know, actually create real cases with this exact same data structure. But look at what gets created automatically. We have a case number, the priority is set to high based on the escalation risk. Uh, it's assigned to the customer service team, the SLA target calculated from the priority level. The case description pulls directly from the AI summary and it even shows the automated actions that were triggered. The customer notification was queued, escalation reminder set. And to continue the post-call intelligence workflow, it also generates a personalized follow-up email based on the actual commitments made during the call. So it doesn't have to be a generic template. You can set this to be whatever you want based on your own needs. But this references the specific promises. So the temporary credits, the billing callback. Now again, this is just a demo. So click and send email doesn't actually send anything, but in production, you could use the Azure Communication Services email SDK to send it automatically. You can configure it so that you can edit it before it gets sent. But everything you see here, the case creation, the field mapping, the automated workflows, and the email generation, these can happen through standard APIs that integrate with your existing business systems. Let's take a quick look at the code and some key core functions that make this possible. We kept the tech stack pretty simple, like I said before, just Node.js and vanilla JavaScript. So it's easy to follow along. We're in analysis.js, which is where a lot of the core logic happens. Here's the magic, this JSON schema that forces the AI to give us consistent results every time. Most people just prompt AI like, hey, please return some JSON and cross their fingers but we're doing something different with this demo. We're using OpenAI's structured output feature to literally enforce this exact format. So you see these enums, the AI can't just make stuff up anymore. It can't return super angry when we want frustrated. It has to pick from whatever list you designate. It's the same with all these fields. That's why the CRM integration will work without any weird parsing logic. Let's jump down to the get AI analysis function. 
And here's where we actually use that schema. We pass it right to the OpenAI API with strict mode turned on, and the model literally can't return anything that doesn't match our structure. Now, here's the thing. Not every AI model can do this yet. OpenAI and Azure OpenAI support structured output. So this demo is built assuming you'll use one of the OpenAI models, like GPT-4 or GPT-5. Because again, for this demo, that structured approach is what's going to turn the AI from just a creative writing tool into something you can actually rely on for business data. We also built in some automatic fallback between GPT-4 and GPT-5. Since they use slightly different parameters, the code just figures out which one you're using and adjusts automatically. There's certainly more we could look at, but those are the core pieces. The power here isn't necessarily just the AI analysis. It's that complete post-call intelligence workflow. Extract insights from the conversation, let humans refine them, and then automatically trigger all the downstream actions that you need to take. Case creation, email generation, priority routing, whatever it may be. One conversation can become five different business actions, all because we captured the intelligence in a structured way. That's post-call intelligence. If you want to try it out on your own, the complete demo is on GitHub with setup instructions. It's not production code, but it does show exactly how the AI-powered call intelligence works in practice. The repo link is in the description, and we hope you build on this foundation to help with your post-call intelligence. Thanks for watching. See you next time.